Hello, front end. Welcome back once again to Decisive Campaigns, the Blitzkrieg from Warsaw to Paris. I'm here with the final touches in the 16th turn. Um, yeah, we, we have a, a few more units left. So one thing that I want to do is I want to move the fourth Panzer. And I guess they have a pretty big reach here. Moving towards Tournai and Lille. Uh, if we take a look at the mini map. Ah, I actually uh, forgot to talk about uh, my Patreon supporter for this episode, which is uh, Pumnorel. If you would like to see more special bonus episodes, then head down to patreon.com, see which level of support suits you. Uh, anyway, we have a few more units left, so um, these guys are slicing through the rest of their... Basically, the, the problem is, is that these guys, for example here, they still have this railroad going to Charlegois, then down here, moving into Mons. And then from Mans, they can still move up towards Tournai, and they could move. They could also move across Maubeuge, and then yeah, basically the only way they can go to is Valenciennes. If I take that, then these guys will not be able to move out. I would guess their supplies would would not be doing all that amazingly either. Now. I will move the fifth. And the sixth. And it's funny indeed how this one Muse Crossing is performing exceptionally well up there. Anyway, we also have the eighth. The reason why I also want to go down is because I want to encircle these and I did say unfortunately they have to road out of here. Um, I'll have these guys try to link up further down there now. Let's uh yeah, let, let's work with the 8th towards an encirclement. And... This is still, like, they could still get all the way up till here. Probably close to La Capelle. But... 
I would still find it interesting to see how they would potentially react. I mean, I mean, look, I don't think it will be useful to keep myself stuck in there in a situation that does not help. So I'll put these guys here with these guys to the back. And you know, maybe I'll get a hundred or so there, but I want these guys to also start moving. Like these guys are in trouble. They will already not enjoy trying to get back. They don't have a proper rail line because it did take this. So this rail line is no longer working. Um, yeah, that it that that's looking good. So besides. Well, I can't just go and give up the city. That would just be ridiculous. Um, so unfortunately, this is as far as I can go for now. These guys are also still quite dangerous, so... I really need to make sure that uh, no strange nastiness comes from this. So cannot actually go there. So never mind that. I uh, just need to get rid of all this. And I guess, yeah, the more units I destroy there at some point, the better. We'll see how many of these guys will evacuate. I would assume that they're going to try and get out. And then I'll, I'll have to swing further to that side in order to get there. Um, like this, it it might look like they don't have that that much. Further to go on. Well, the more territory I take, the I guess also the more confused the AI will be. Like, what are these guys gonna do? They're gonna move down here. Technically, that wouldn't be such a bad idea, but I don't think the AI is smart enough to do something like that. And I do have my infantry to start holding that. They don't have any pressure from down here, so once this infantry moves up in here, they'll be pretty safe. I also need to move these guys further ahead, and this encirclement needs to be complete for me to have this southern flag completely clear, or at least clear enough. I have no clue whether they have more forces down in this sector. But what it would entail is that 
if I can secure the southern flank, it barely matters what they do up north because I could just rush through the panzers without really having to worry about the south. Like if they start squeezing me from both sides, that would be a problem. But currently they don't seem to be capable of doing that. And this is a very perilous situation for them to be in regardless. With this fourth panzer moving through here, potentially moving to Valenciennes, cutting off all of this. And at that point it will be game over for them. Of course also I will have my armored units being able to move through here quickly. I've gotten some bridge crossings over the Dend Dender River. Uh, so, so that's pretty decent. And then of course... I have taken control of Brussels. So uh, once again I'll meet you back on the other side and we'll see what uh, what have happened uh, yeah exactly meet you on the other side all right in the next turn another rain turn unfortunately um yeah, so let's take a look at the history. They actually did attack there and I actually lost some there. Last one, some artillery here too. Then, was it a double artillery? Oh no, the other artillery is here. <laughs> And that was it. At least as far as attacks go, seems like they encircled the 4th Panzer, but not particularly problematic right there. Besides, they still have a few forces, some engineers and other stuff in there. It doesn't seem to be that big of a problem for the 4th. Nor has there been a serious problem here. They have, however... Yeah, I mean, this this looks... This is, yeah, it's fine. Let's see. The engineers, they don't see much. Um, but... Right, Fusier is also empty. We knew that this is not very interesting. Uh, so... Yeah, I was just... Uh, yeah, checking, checking that stuff there. Um, <laughs> just for fun, I guess. It does look like I can now finish this encirclement. It's, it's a big piece of territory, but yeah, it, it, it will fall. They got encircled. They they went a bit too far, I suppose. So they actually uh, uh, they can they can still get out. That, that's not a thing. Hmm. So things are going quite well. It seems like Antwerp is empty too. Now they're trying to evacuate it. It's I, I find it interesting how the AI decides to abandon certain places immediately. But um, that means that uh, Belgium is, is basically uh, done here. They, uh, they're going to give up. That, that's at least the, the way I'm looking at it. Um, I don't really see how they would be able to keep going. Did I forget to move these? Probably not. Mm 
Yeah, I couldn't imagine this uh, being a serious problem here. There we go. And then I'll have to wipe these guys out last. Just the fact that uh, this is now taken is pretty good. Um, any chance of either of them still attacking? Oh, I actually did did not want to do that. Oh, you have a have a speed card. Funny that they actually should be way further ahead because they're part of that core. There, I've neglected these guys for far too long. That's pretty bad, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a shame they cannot get into the city. I don't know what they have there, but... I mean, if they have to start defending with engineers. They have to understand that that's, that's not, uh, not ideal. Now, as regards 4th Panzer, they're actually all the way down there, so... The best approach for them, I guess, also would be to try and go south. It, uh... Currently, rather looks though as if yeah they've they're, they're done. And I should just try to continue moving as much as possible with the forces that I have here in order to to move as far as possible as well. Interesting that they would start putting French forces in there. Indeed. Um, need to attack with the 33rd and 6th.
or just a sixth. That would do as well. Uh, since I'm quite sure I'll be able to encircle these guys, I can, in a way, use this potentially as well as a way to straighten my positions. to continue moving and the 76th infantry will deal with it jeez that's still a lot of damage I guess they made it. I, uh, I guess they also could have used that card. The other parts of the 31st are up there. Kind of strange. But if I clear out these, then uh, then it will all make sense. Uh, yeah, so some artillery in the woods. I would not... expect them to be such a problem. Of course, again, I'm underestimating the enemy. And I'm Happens every single time. No, again, this is overstacking. But yeah. I was real close. The other parts are the 15th. Where are they?
right there. I mean, they, they cannot have been wiped out. I never saw them get wiped out. Hmm. Well, I'm not surprised that they are out of uh, fuel ammo, etc. Because these guys need to, to go first anyway. Um, let's move some engineers here to fix this bridge too. I don't know what these guys were doing here, but it, it's one big mess for them in, in that sense. Uh, that's just, just no good. Uh, either way. Interesting indeed. The uh, French are proving themselves to be... Oh, there they are. don't know how I could have missed them. Anyway, the uh, 15th and 17th should try to clear these guys, I think, on the next turn. But for the moment, it is probably best... To just wait with that for a little bit. Although I do think these should be cleared at the very least. They are actually most in a way. Just like this first actually. It doesn't seem like this uh, first turn of encirclement. Has uh, given them much cause for pause. So. I will uh, I'll have to wait basically I uh, recognize they're very close to getting encircled, even now. The distance is much shorter, but it's not enough. And I, like my forces are riddled also by poor supplies in this stage because of the huge number of enemy forces. Just like here, like 
it is beginning to uh, to show I think at least a little bit that's becoming problematic but uh but we'll see I'll um Just do this one, and then I'm gonna wrap things up for this. This. Wow. Uh... Oh, okay. Attacking from all sides on those guys should not be a problem. Either way, uh, like I said, I'll wrap things up here. I wanted to give for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, special shout out, shout out to my Patreon supporters: Boom Around, The Jump Faster, Thumbs Off, Trillion, then yeah, Thomas Off, Trillion, Thomas V. Marshall, C Data, and Swords. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time. And bye-bye.